Good morning. My name is Tom. Uh, I'm up at the cabin this week. We're in the middle of a snowstorm. It's April 8th. But I thought I might, today's video is going to be about uh, a little different take on cotton balls and Vaseline. I think I've got a little better trick on this that I would like to share. Maybe you'd be interested in it. I find the cotton balls with Vaseline to be a little bit too much of a sticky mess for me. So this isn't a right or wrong way of producing a fire starter, but I'm out in, uh, if you recognize, I don't know if you recognize the building I'm in, this is my prep building. I am a hunter-gatherer, and this is where when I gather up punk wood and white birch and chagger and all that stuff, this is the building that it ends up in, so that it has a nice dry place to be, and when I'm ready to go hunting or hiking, this is the building that I come to, to, uh, fill up my supplies that I will put in my day pack uh, and decide what I want to do for a fire that day, stuff like that. Uh, this is just where I gather it. This building is 10 feet by 10 feet. It has a wood stove in the corner. If you'll hear that running in the background. It has no power. The hissing that you hear is a Coleman lantern that is running. Eventually this building will be hooked up to the uh, solar panels that I have here so I will have uh, solar lights out here. It's a kind of a workshop for the hunter-gatherer. There's a little bit of everything in here. And I'll give you while we work on this, I'm going to show you this Vaseline and cotton swab trick. Uh, and uh, then I'll give you a little tour of the building. Everything in here has something to do with hunting or fishing. Uh, mostly fire. I have jars and jars of chagger, stuff like that, that's ready to go. Uh, this is where I would clean my rifles and prepare them. This is where my gun cleaning stuff is, all that kind of stuff. But anyways, what I'm talking about on the cotton swab is instead of a cotton swab that you dip in Vaseline and all that, it's, you take a um, medicine bottle like this one and then you, you can push up to 30 to 50 cotton swabs into this into this little jug. So you have 50 uh, fire starters in one jug that you could put in your snowmobile, you could put in your camping pack, uh, and you just reach in, pull one out, light it on fire, and you've got yourself a nice little cotton swab. It's not sticky, it's not messy, it's a little bit of a... What I put in here on the cotton swab is I put lamp oil. Lamp oil or diesel, uh, non-diesel, the diesel fuel will work, but I put lamp oil and kerosene. Either one, whichever I have on hand, and you pour it into the, bit, the little jug here and you push it down so that it gets to the very bottom of this. I'll go through the procedure. It's very simple. It's very quick. I always have it on hand and it's not a sticky mess. And then I will light one of these on fire so you can see the fire test for it. So I'm going to get my stuff ready, and I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, so here's my medicine bottle. Here's my cotton swabs that I keep up here at the cabin. And this is just regular uh, lamp oil. Do not, do not use gasoline. Only use lamp, lamp oil, or kerosene, or diesel fuel. Do not use gasoline for this. Uh, this is a fuel, but this is not a hot burning fuel or a fast burning fuel. This diesel fuel and kerosene. So all you do, you take the cotton swabs and you push them in. Just as hard as you can, many as you can. Like I said, in this one bottle, you can get yourself 30, maybe 40 uh, cotton swabs. And that and only takes one cotton swab of this to build a fire. And as you add the fluid, you can add even more. Alright. I have no idea how many cotton swabs are in there. But the bottle's full. Just add, just 
just a little bit of this to it. You have to add a little bit at a time, but then you've got to push it. And what you're doing is kind of like a sponge. You're squeezing all that fluid down to the bottom. And that way the bottom cotton swabs will also get their fluid. I don't know if you can see, but see right here you can see the fluid line. This is wet, down here is dry. So you keep adding until the bottom is full. Squeeze it and just hold it for a second and then that will pull it right down in. Yeah. See that? Nice and, nice and full. And by doing that, now we got more room at the top. So then you put in some more. Push it down. And they'll fill up. Okay. And that is all there is to it. There is probably 50 fire starters in that little ball. In that little, I mean in that little, in that little uh, medicine bottle. It's a done deal. So now what we're going to do, take you back in a second, i got a couple things to get ready. I'll come back. Got a little tin here that I, that I burn on. Now all I'm going to do is take out one and set it there. Ferro rod. Boom. It's not sticky. My hands are nice and clean. They might smell like lamp oil a little bit. But that right there will ride in my snowmobile. Or it will ride if you want to put it in a four wheeler, in a boat, whatever. You have 50 fire starters uh, that quick, that easy. And that will burn for, I won't hold you here for it, but, but that will burn for uh, five minutes, maybe six minutes, easily. And that's a six inch flame. Uh, so I think that's a pretty good fire starter for as simple as that is to make. I used to use uh, the egg cartons with lint and all that and not knocking them. They're all very good fire starters. But I found this one to be the simplest and the easiest uh, for me to make and to have on hand. They work great here at the cabin for getting fires built in the wood stoves and stuff. Throw in one or two of those, throw some kindling on top of that and I can have a nice fire. As you can see, that's quite a flame. Uh, so that's why I got away from the cotton swabs and Vaseline and that's also why I got away from the uh, egg cottons and lint. Now I use primarily natural tinders but as a progression of doing this for 50 years this is where I came from. This is the stuff that I used uh, faithfully 30 years ago and I just wanted to share that with you in case you wanted to try a different way of making these fire starters. You really don't need to go to the store and buy a fire starter when you can build something uh, that will throw a flame like that uh, to get your fire going. That's a torch. Under any stretch of the imagination that's a torch. So that's going to wrap this one up on cotton swabs and uh, thank you very much for watching my videos and I will see you on the next one.